So this talk is called Mysteries of the Lorentz Transformation. Lorentz Transformation is the main bit of mathematics of special relativity. There are too many mysteries of the Lorentz Transformation to be able to go into all of them here. As per Wikipedia, the most common form of the Lorentz transformations is this, and it connects coordinates with the time and the distances from different reference frames. So let's look at the origins of the Lorentz transformations. So I'm going by this paper uh, by Engelhard. So the abstract says the Lorentz transformation, which is considered a constitutive for the special relativity theory, was invented by Voigt in 1887, adopted by Lorentz in 1904 and baptised by Poincaré in 1906. By that it means Poincaré used it as well. Uh, Einstein probably picked it up from Voigt directly. First of all, as per Wikipedia, uh, Voigt's transformations look like this, where you got the gamma factor and you multiply through by the gamma factor then that's not on the right hand side then it becomes look at those equations then look like the modern Lorentz transformations so Voigt transformations are not exactly the same as the Lorentz transformations or they although they can be taken to be close enough According to Engelhard, for reasons we do not know either, Voigt's transformation appeared attractive to Lorentz in his pursuit to develop an electrodynamics for moving media. In his paper of 1904, he simply says, I take it as a new independent variables and introduces subsequently Voigt's transformation without mentioning his name, without I mentioning Voigt's name. In a monograph of 1913, however, which contained early papers related to relativity by Lorentz, Einstein and Minkowski, he added a footnote where he acknowledged the equivalence of his transformation to that of Voigt's form 1887. While according to Wikipedia, Lorenz uh, 1909 is on record as saying that he could have taken these transformations, which is the Voigt's transformations, into his theory if he let electrodynamics, if only he had known of them rather than developing his own. So there's a difference of opinion here uh, between Lorentz knew of Voigt's transformation and used them without saying he used them versus Lorentz didn't know about the Voigt transformations and they had to work out the math for themselves. So dealt with Voigt to Lorentz and there's a picture of who they are, Voigt and Lorentz. Next, need to deal with Lorentz to Poincaré. Uh, and that next step involves the naming of the maths. Uh, Engelhard says, in his paper of 1906, Poincaré referred not to Voigt's but to Lorentz's work and gave the transformation Lorentz's name. So Poincaré named them the, the maths as Lorentz transformations. Now would be a good to tie all that math in with this guy, Einstein. 
Referring to Einstein, Engelhard says in the monograph of 1913, he assures us he was not aware of Lorenz's paper of 1904. And that's uh, Einstein assuring us this uh, is credible, as Engelhard says, as he did not use Lorenz's nomenclature. The, uh, that being Einstein and I, Lorenzi's uh, notation is shown in that first bit and Voigt's is shown in that second bit so Einstein in 1913 uh, referring to a special th relative paper of 1905 and he's claiming that he Einstein was unaware of what Lorenz was saying about Lorentz transformations in 1905. But Engelhard then goes on to point out that Einstein was using the same symbols as Voigt. So Einstein's probably going by Voigt in 1905. Einstein in his paper of 1905 is this one. It's called On the Electrodynamics of Moving Bodies. And this paper does not give any references as to what Einstein was working from. Hence, that's why we reduce to mysteries, such as the mystery of Einstein was probably working from Voigt in 1905. But was that a definite? We don't know because Einstein didn't reference it. Carrying on with these mysteries, Engelhardt says, concluding this little essay, I would like to communicate an interesting additional thing. Einstein kept denying that the Michelson Morley experiment had any influence on the development of his theory. Probably he, Einstein, had read a paper with the title Theory of Light for Moving Media by Voigt, uh, which appeared two months later. On page 233, Voigt analyses the Michelson experiment and comes to the conclusion, and this is said in German, uh, the rough translation of that is, it follows that the observational results when arranging the experiment as suggested by Michelson has chosen are completely independent of translation so that Michelson uh, negative results that he actually got ought to get to get regardless of whether the ether moves the earth or not. Carrying on with what Engelhardt says, uh, if Voigt was right, Einstein could not possibly take Michelson's results as experimental evidence for the correctness of his theory. That is Einstein's theory. It is likely that he was aware of Voigt's paper and of his judgment of Voigt's judgment. And this was the case. He had certainly also read reference one, which offered him a transformation he could exploit for his purpose. Uh, so Einstein probably not working from experimental results, namely the uh, Michelson Morley experiment, instead, you're probably working from Voigt's paper. Engelhard points out that Voigt's paper, in which Voigt develops his theory, had mistakes in it. And he says Voigt did apparently not realise that the independence of the phase velocity from the motion of the observer is blatant contradiction to the observation in sound for which his theory was supposed to hold as well. Obviously, it is inconceivable that ta time transforms in compliance with all the different wave velocities occurring in elastic media. So Einstein was probably working from Voigt's paper and Voigt's paper had mistakes in it. Thus, Einstein was probably working from Voigt's mistakes. And this is all very mysterious. It's po po it is possible to dig deeper into the mysterious nature of the origins of Lorentz transformations, but things just get 
more mysterious. So I'll end it here with the introduction to the mysteries of the Lawrence tra transformations. The Lorentz transformations are a fundamental part of special activity, so unfortunately have to be, have to take them as given for being special relativity in many of my talks, without delving into the mysterious origins of their creation. And it's that sort of thing that the mainstream lights keep sweeping under the carpet. Uh, that Einstein was probably working from Voigt, and Voigt had mistakes in it, and Einstein was incorporating those mistakes into his own theory. And that's it. Finished the end of this little talk. Thank you.